I can't I can't cross over Tofu. She's her defense is too good. Miracle 5 defender. Wearing Jordan shirt though. Be wearing Rodman shirt. Nice. Tofu got that defense. She is the wall. Nice. Hello Kipus. This is Kim J. And Tofu. Yeah. yeah. Kuroko's basketball episode number 21. Let's get started. Let's get first we need to start with a fist pump. Okay. Ah! Oh, wait, 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 no, he, they do it like this. They do it like this. Duh. We're almost at season two. Yes, we're almost at season two. It's been five years. But before we start our video, we'd like to thank our sponsors from Amino Apps. Amino Apps has a new updated feature content called Amino Stories. And Amino Stories is a feature for creators to share their stories with you in short and sweet clips High quality, guys. High quality, okay? We want to share exclusive content with you guys that is not shown on YouTube, such as behind the scenes, anime related stuff, vlog related stuff. Yeah, which in fact, we are actually going to Vegas really soon. And uh, we want to share our little trip with you guys too, which will be on Amino apps. Like for instance, we already have a video up with uh, Tofu watching too much Kuroko no Basket. She wants to be like Aomine. We'll be sharing a lot of posts like that. So make sure you guys download Amino apps. The app is completely completely free. The link is down in the description below. And for those of you guys who already have Amino apps, don't forget to search us. It's kimchi and tofu. Make sure to follow us and you'll see all the behind the scenes stories from us. Not only us, but there are tons and tons of creators out there that are showing their exclusive content as well that wants to share their stories where you can see it's anime, K-pop, arts, whatever you like. There's tons and tons of contents in here. So make sure you guys download Amino apps right now. Hope to see you guys there. And we can't wait to share our stories with you guys. So, so guys, thank you guys for joining Kimchi and Tofu. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, let's go and start Kurokuno Basket. <laughs> what is going on right now? <laughs> I don't care, dude. Look at this face. He just doesn't care. They do look like a couple. I was confused they do. for a second. I was confused too. I was like, wait. Ah, Ooh. so training on the beach and the mountains. Oh my gosh, those are hard training. Have you ever tried running in the sand? Oh, not like yes. training in the sand? It's tough. It's really tough. <laughs> you ran into it? <laughs> what do you mean? He's been standing still the whole time. <laughs> it's like he hit him on purpose. Oh, so they're bringing the puppy here yeah. <laughs> to the beach. <laughs> now they, they got closer, they argue a lot more now. Oh, yeah. Boom. They chose cheap lodging, so they have to make their own food. Because none of them know how to cook? The coach doesn't know how to cook. Uh-uh. Oh, no, coach will be cooking oh, food. No, that's oh. the biggest problem. Why? Why the coach got to cook? You remember those lemons? Yeah, the lemons. Dude, poor guys. They're gonna be starving when they're freaking playing. Oh, yeah. They have no time to be cooking. They can't insult. <laughs> He's already about to throw up. Oh my god, it's that bad. They're gonna They're die. So They're gonna die. What is this? Oh, no. And she's wearing the kuma. kuma. Yeah. <laughs> They're making her practice cook. <laughs> no one makes a meaner boiled eggs than I do. <laughs> uh oh. What oh. the heck? She didn't even cut the carrots. What is this? The same with garbage. The garlic. Yo, I thought she was chopping. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good luck, guys. Good luck. <laughs> oh no. The rice is soft like porridge. Oh Ew. no. The meat oh, is raw. Oh my too. gosh. <laughs> oh, dude. She got everything wrong. Nothing is right. Look at the <laughs> onions are not even cut. Oh my gosh. I can smell it from here. Oh, look oh, at her finger. She's been trying. She actually really tried. Come on, eat, guys. Come on. Just at least force it down and act like you like it. Man, I feel bad oh. now talking crap about her food. I'm sorry, coach. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get something to drink. He's probably gonna go puke at the toilet. <laughs> oh, he's taking seconds. They had Aww. love in it. <laughs> but you must have gone so wrong somewhere with your cooking. <laughs> Aw, that was a good... 
Man, that's made out of love. Oh my god, he died! He died! <laughs> Holy cow! Oh my god, my headphones! <laughs> Look at him, he's sweating too! Oh <laughs> shit, how many, how many players died? Oh, <laughs> the captain died! Oh shoot. Oh, Kagami! Dude! Kagami knows how to cook? Cause he lives by himself! Mr. Independent! Look at his rice! <laughs> oh, wait, we're gonna get some shokugeki here? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it was her cooking! She did she it! She did it! So Kagami is a good teacher! Oh, no, take that back! <laughs> oh, no, it got worse! Oh, shoot! <laughs> it's beyond human <laughs> understanding. It's in a different dimension. She just can't cook. Oh, Kuroko likes really it? genuinely likes it. <laughs> oh! oh my God, dude. So anything her hand touches, it tastes it's like bad. crap. <laughs> Look at her cry. Oh no! She put cheese on there! <gasps> oh! She's been putting pills in their food. <laughs> they can't even say it tastes good. They have to say it tastes normal. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's beach time. Hey. Man, we just went to the beach too the other day. Yeah, we did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's the father. Lay a hand on my daughter and I kill you. I don't think anyone in the team will actually even do anything. Yeah, I don't think so either. These guys are going to play basketball in the sand? You can't even dribble the ball. They're going to yeah. increase each pe person. <laughs> As always, three amount, three times more. Good. What do you mean good? Dude, we need one of those basketball jerseys for Kogi. Yeah, we do. <laughs> he tried to bounce past <laughs> in the sand. <laughs> Man, these guys' legs are gonna be freaking strong as a tank, man. He's gonna be able to practice jumping more, too. Wow, so with this training, are you telling me that Taiga can jump higher? Ooh, the heat of the sun. Damn, so manly, huh? Mm hmm. Wow, these guys jumping higher? Is that what it is? Yeah, they are. Well, he they can get a better, better grip. grip. Wow, so it's like, you know, you have those weight training on the legs and when you take it out, you can faster. But this one, since they got so used to running in the sand, now the way they move is so free. Slowy. It's yeah. like more freer. I don't think he even knew that he could have dunked it. Oh, he held back. Ooh. Man, we need to start reacting in the sand. Maybe we'll react differently. Better. better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that works, babe. Ooh, that looks nice. The massager. He does sound like an old man. <laughs> he does sound like a grandpa, dude. What the heck? Establishing a style. Yeah, he could have been a good captain too. Yeah, he acts like one. Ah. He understands that Hyuga has a better leadership and this special thing that he grabs all the people together. I think it's more if they fear them. The first year fear him. Hyuga's scary when he gets mad. Girl goes been here the whole time. <laughs> it's, it's Who better? Like... <gasps> what, what are they doing here? They're here too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. These guys are gonna become best friends without even knowing it. <laughs> What's with the tan? He thinks they're on a vacation. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. That she looks scary. Blood. What the heck did she kill? Oh, they're both gonna practice here. Well, at least practice they can keep game? screaming against each other. <laughs> Look at me, Dorima and Kagami, dude. 500 meters away, run. Oh. Wow. She's making him do his own practice. 
Oh, shit, Kuroko and Midori, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Uh, he tried, though. Damn. It's okay, Kuroko's trying to find it, though, so it's okay. He's trying he to find is. it. Yeah, you hear that, Midorima? Oh, the insults are happening now. Don't bring Kuroko down. No, he's not. Kuroko's not gonna get down from this. Nope. They're powered not by spirit or will, but something physical. So she's building his physical strength. Yes! Mm. Kiyoshi Tepe! Dude, he's called an a formidable opponent. opponent. Still got his lucky charms. A visible dribble? He may show terrifying improvements. Improvement. That's good. Oh my gosh, she just got back now. <laughs> He just finished shop shopping. Ooh, I bet he's so angry. <gasps> he bought drinks for Shitoku as well. Aww. He doubled his work. He, he doubled, doubled the training. To give for the other team. Look at that. She sees hope. Oh. Ah! No. no. <laughs> Man, Taiga's such a nice person, huh? He is. He's such a... He's so independent, knows how to cook, is caring. So cares about others. Yes. And even from the last episode when uh, Kagami, even if he was acting like this, he wasn't doing an ill intention. He really wanted help. The help. He just acts tough, but inside he has a heart of an angel. He does. Right? Yes. Man, I like this guy. Why Why are they making me like Kagami so much? Why are they making me like Tepe so much? What All is the characters doing? are so lovable. You got, yeah, everybody. Gosh, the character development here is just um, unbelievable. It's amazing. You know when we watch Haikyuu, Haikyuu has a really, really good character development. Yes. Right? Yeah. Haikyuu, especially when they introduce each player one at a time. Kuroko, I have to say, they do a good job with character development As too, well, man. Yeah. You're getting so invested in this character and you really feel a connection and feel for these characters. And I think for after this episode, I mean, the whole time I was like, man, I think I'm starting to really like Tepe. And mm -hmm. then freaking Kagami pulls this off. Shoot. Yeah. And by the way, this freaking episode was super funny. It was. It with was the, the super curry, the curry. funny. Okay, so one thing that... Uh, Midorima and his friend was talking in the bathtub was that Kroko's weakness is whatever is that his misdirection he can't use it on the ball that's why he never holds the ball when he passes you always see a one tap ball because he doesn't want to draw attention to himself because yeah. he can't hold it because they do they'll take it right from him and they well the misdirection from the ball you can, as long as you can see the ball that's why he doesn't want to hold on to it longer because it's going to be able to see him but if he's able to use trick that Mm -hmm. and actually do a misdirection with the ball. And I think this, I I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I'm 100% correct at this, but maybe what I'm thinking is that Kroko is going to start learning fake passes. Oh. So, when it, you know, you're going to see a lot of fake where it goes this way, and then bam, he shifts this the other way. So it's like these guys are always attention to the ball, and maybe that's the way his passes. So... Kuroko can hold the ball a lot longer. Yeah. And when he says something about invisible dribble, are we going to see Kuroko's handling improve? Probably, yeah. Of course, yeah. That's one of the... I think that's the starting, is him being able to dribble with the ball faster, at least be able to run with it to go somewhere else. I think the thing is, he's very good with misdirection, right? Mm -hmm. I think what he has to do is learn the misdirection with the ball. He's scared that people are going to watch him. That's why he just taps it. If, yeah. if you think... Look back at all the episodes. Kuroko has been tapping mm -hmm. huh, fast, fast, and it's it's very impressive, which is really hard to do. And that's one thing I didn't notice why he all the passes were huh, 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 one shot, one tap, one tap. But if he could just if he could just channel that one and then just hurry and direct the ball into the hoop and make a shot, that would be better. I think yes and no. Um, I think Kuroko in this spot 
I thought he was gonna start scoring more, but I don't mm-hmm. think that's gonna be it. No. I don't think he's gonna go into scoring. I think what he's gonna do is he's gonna open up his skills into a new specialty. So it's basically like when you play RPG, MMORPG game. Yeah. Right? And you open up a slot. Yeah. And then you fill that slot and you feel like it's all peaked. And then all of a sudden, another sub slot opens up to another oh, branch, and you, you can unlock. start unlocking all these skills. Yeah. But it, the skills is still connected to that, so it's, I still feel like he's gonna ha- he's gonna improve, but his passes or his dribble, what he's going to do is he's gonna trick their eyes so much mm. that now they have no idea where the ball is gonna go, and that's oh. what's gonna make him super dangerous. And that's just my theory of what I s- kind of got in from this episode, but I do. F- think that Kroko is not going to be really scoring, but he's going to start misdirectioning the ball, which that is going to be insane. Kagami's jumping higher. Hyuga, his shots, his shots were always good, but I I think he was saying something like he can grip the ball better or something. All of them are doing well. They're all increasing their stats, right? Yeah, their stats are improving. They're all improving. Man, it's so funny because... I was not expecting Midorima to show up. No, <laughs> me either. That was the opposite. He's low key funny though, man. He is. Midorima's so low key funny. Like and he he's so unintentionally. True to himself, yeah. He's so unintentionally <laughs> funny that he's that makes him so funny. At first, when we saw Midorima, we're like, man, who's this guy? Like he looks pretty tough, intimidating, and he's all serious about things. But he's not really. You can't. He's not. That's tough as he looks. No. And on top of that, we should have known because he was always getting rolled around the cart. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Dorima is a troll. That's what he is. Yeah. He's just a quiet troll. Yeah. <laughs> right? Undercover. Undercover quiet troll. That's so what I awesome. love him. I love him. But all right, guys, that was episode 21 of Kuroko's Basketball. Man, I just can't wait till the winter is here. I can't wait for the winter to come anytime because I... Well, no, actually, I'm... A, I, I'm excited to see the learning process. I am too. Actually, yeah, I kind of like jumped it. the gun there. Yeah. Because I do want to see the winter come, but at the same time... I'm excited to see what they do at the mountain camp yes, training. This is actually good. You yeah, know, you're true. You're right. You know what? I feel... You know why they're going to be training in the mountains, I think? Why? They said mountains, right? Yeah. Higher altitude. Yeah. So the breathing, high... your air, right? Oh, That's yeah. going to help their lungs. Higher altitude. So that means that their stamina could maybe run longer. Maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Ooh. So she's training them physically and, uh, well, yeah, all they're physically. All physically. Yeah, yeah they're, it's all physical. But so every body part. Because I think their mental game got trained on the last episode. When yeah. Tepe came in. So their mental stays in the right place. Now it's just got to boost up the physical. But guys, thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys for episode number 22. And stay awesome as always. And we'll see you soon. Yes, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.